Okay, starting on the Mako KW actually slash Mako 300. This is the one where somebody put the uh, KW uh, graphic on the front that says Mako KW when it's actually a uh, Mako 300 one driving four. Uh, many many different versions of the Mako 300 some were uh, two driving five some one driving four like this one some use two transformers some use one transformer uh, some use M2057 some use 8950 and I even some, see some that used um, 6LF6 6LB6 uh, tubes so many different versions uh, it's a couple different uh, versions of schematics out there and you might find because there are so many versions of this amp that they don't totally match and that may be one of the problems with whoever tried to uh, work on or, or or rebuild this amp came into because um, you know I got this amp for another song in the dance and it might be why is what I found um, so I uh, started with the bottom. I haven't even got to the top yet. You know, I got it for a song of the dance, no tubes. Um, but I have tubes. I got a pretty good stash laying around. So, you know, I bought it in Dayton and uh, did my little happy dance and got it for a song and a dance. So um, trying to get some of these projects out the way. I'm very, very behind and just trying to get stuff done. So I'm sorry, let me, you know, open this one up and uh, get to it, at least get it started, see what it need. And um, my initial thoughts were, hey, somebody already rebuilt it. They recapped it. They put in a uh, new style modern can caps there. And they used uh, 470 UF, which is uh, way, way, way overkill um, for this amp. And most of the versions for this amp don't have bleeder slash equalizer resistors. I've done many um, vids mentioning them, but somebody put some um, uh, actually pretty heavy bleed 100k across each uh, cap bleeder equalizer resistor, and that's good. You know, can caps, even though 470 is kind of overkill, it's going to be a heck of a surge when you turn it on, it's going to dim the lights. Um, even though this amp does have a surge resistor in line which is this uh, 2 ohm I believe a 10 watt resistor right here that resistor coming out the diodes the high voltage man come on page about to lose my sheet um, high voltage you know the low voltage for the transformer your 120 comes in this is the high voltage going out it got a uh, low voltage tap there which we will talk about pretty soon because that's the problem with this amp or one of the problems that the uh, rebuilder ran into but the high voltage comes across the uh, two here that's going to be your reds and they go into the uh, bridge rectifier here and your rectified uh, AC um, comes into that uh, resistor there and that's your surge resistor you know when you turn on a, a lot of amps and the lights dim and all that that's the surge of the caps charging up because they look like a dead short you know to the diodes and to the transformer until they get some charge on them here's the caps over here in yellow so some amps the pride dx300 does it too they just put a uh, low value resistor in line to hit that surge um, so when that surge before these caps get um, some power on them that resistor is going to take a hit and it's going to um, have that resistance to only allow so much voltage or power go into the caps so that resistor takes a hit until these um, caps are charged and then the dead short kind of goes away and they're operating at normal voltage and current and it's not pulling on that resistor uh, so much you know compared to the surge so since the resistor is such a low ohm value that the uh, resistor is pretty much no longer in effect what bigger amps do when they have the slow start or step start they have a resistor with a little bit higher ohmage in it so to take the uh, surge even better you know allow less um, but they'll switch it out they use a relay across it 
and after a second or two um, for the when the caps get charged they will uh, activate the relay once the caps are charged and they'll just bypass that resistor so that's a better way but of course more expensive why do um, amp builders do this kind of stuff it's always about cost right always uh, but anyway over here the three uh, caps in the schematic originally 120 UF um, at 450 volt and I got here that this high voltage runs at about 950 volts which is a lot for a sweep tube but um, um, Mako's ran you know ran them a little bit high a little bit hard you know on the tubes so anyway I looked at this and I'm like wow they went to four capacitors instead of the three it's like why did they do that because you know going by voltage each capacitor in series is 450 volts so 450 nine hundred thirteen hundred and fifty volts for a 900 and volt volt actual so you 950 getting a little tongue-tied so you have you know what's that a 20 25 percent safety factor with the three so why do you need to do four I was wondering myself and I um glad I looked into that because at first I'm like hey they did pretty good these are you know uh, uh, velcroed in or glued in pretty good they're solid um, nothing loose there you got the bleeders on top uh, the guy didn't do a bad job right you know of converted it into a four but I'm looking at why did they do that it's unnecessary and then I'm looking at the wiring and everything and going back to that low voltage high voltage thing um, what they do for the low side is they switch the winding from the high voltage winding to a lower voltage winding to go from high to low and they use the switch here the high low switch on the front um, the AC before it goes into the diodes there the, um, high and low um, there and what I found what they did is instead of using the AC they tried to use the center of this capacitor bank for the high and low so the high is connected to basically the red wire the high side here and the low is connected in between these two and they went to the um, um, center of that um, for the low side and they also took the uh, transformer winding the low side and they took that and instead of going to the diodes, they took that low and they put it right in the center of the four caps, right? Um, you need the diodes because this is AC coming out of here, right? And what the diodes do is they, again, rectify the AC and they, they turn it into rectified AC or basically unfiltered DC, right? When you take... A AC line like this on the low side and you connect it they went to the center of these four caps I guess they were trying to run it in the center of the caps for the low side instead of using that you're taking AC and putting it on a uh, electrolytic capacitor electrolytic capacitors are one way only they have a positive and a negative for a reason um, they don't tolerate AC going into them at all um, like that and often you will hear pow big giant boom explosion like a shotgun and and and, and smoke you'll let the magic smoke out and it's get a crap out of you a lot of times if you ever had a, uh, a filter cap explode like that it's like boom like what the frock so anyway, that's what happens when you put direct high voltage AC on a um, electrolytic filter cap, cap like that, especially a big one. I don't know if, why they went to 470s since they had problems with it or, or you know, they were trying to run it that way with the AC because it takes a while for the uh, cap to heat up and then explode. And I'm sure it wasn't right if they never had explosions or maybe they had you know blew up the smaller ones and that's why they tried to go bigger but I guess they didn't know you cannot put AC direct AC on a uh, electrolytic filter cap like that that's why you always always have to have the diodes first in any app you see 
uh, big, little, small, whatever, you know, even the direct wired ones that use like a voltage tripler, quadruple, or right off the lines, they always use diodes to change that AC into basically a uh, pulsating DC or unfiltered DC first. And you got to put the DC um, from the diodes on the caps. You never, ever, ever put AC on the caps. And that's basically what they did uh, when they tried to modify this amplifier. Instead of using the um, low side, high side here going onto the switch uh, into the diode bank, they took the uh, high and low, well, the low, the high is right, but they took the low and put it in the center of the four caps. And they were going to have nothing, nothing but issues uh, with this amplifier in that con configuration. And um, they tried to run it like that. Um, they were going to have the shotgun explosion of the uh, filter caps going boom. And... Uh, look it up online you know a uh, uh, filter uh, electrolytic filter cap bang you know it it's, sounds like a shotgun go off when these things go off so I'm sure I'm thinking that's why I got this thing for a song and a dance uh, you know they pulled the tubes and they never could get it right I don't know why they were trying to do that anyway were they trying to get more power out of this Mako 300 um, when it comes to transformers you know, if you got a 500 watt transformer, there is nothing you can do to get more than 500 watts out of it. You know, you can uh, double the voltage, you're going to lose half the current, you know. Um, there, there's nothing you could do to get, you know, more watts than the thing is going to get. Um, it's almost the same with a tube, but a tube, you can push it harder and get more, but the more you push it, the less it's going to last. I mean, you, it's Ohm's Law, Einstein equals MC squared, uh, uh, resistance, power, all that, you know, it's mathematically uh, factual. And there's nothing anybody can ever do uh, uh, to create, you know, more power out of, you know, something that's not designed to do that. Or again, if you do it like a tube, you get more power. You know, you're getting 50% more power out of it. It's going to last, you know, uh, uh, one-tenth of what it's supposed to. It's just not designed for it. It ain't going to happen. But anyway, that's my rant for this one. And we're going to start uh, trying to correct this, work the bugs out. Hopefully, the transformer's not blown. Because if the transformer's blown, then I guess I got to order a toroid or something off ePay and cancel Christmas. But anyway since i got this amp for a song and a dance and uh haven't went on the top side yet but so far it doesn't look too bad we also cleaned the relay already um check these and the resistors so all that's good except the wiring is uh backwards um and we powered up the relay or the key in circuit with low voltage um it runs on about 16 volt and we got a power supply quite a few up there and we just uh, connected it to the low voltage and uh, the relay uh, keys, the preamp works, uh, all that works. We clean the relay and all that looks good. So I'll be in luck if the uh, power transformer is not blown. But even if it is, uh, I guess it's fixable, just going to cost me a little money. All right, that's it for this one. Bye.